It is time now for Better Money with Joel Johnson. And today we're talking about a new survey that's just come out about retirement. The results, I'm told, are pretty interesting. Joel is a certified financial planner and managing partner at Johnson Brunetti. Thanks so much, Joel, for being here. It's great to be back again, Kara. So we're learning about retirement, and specifically this survey talks a lot about how people feel about retirement. Right. It talks about confidence levels, what people are scared of, and so on. It's great information. Uh, it tells us what our peers are thinking, what people just like us are thinking about retirement. So uh, the first point that you've pulled out for us is a confidence in having enough for retirement. Two in three workers, I guess say they do, but only 17% feel very confident. Only 32% feel of retirees feel very confident. So um, it depends on where you are. I guess if you're on the younger end, you really just, it, maybe just because it's too far off. <laughs> it, it's too far off, people aren't really thinking about it. But if you think about it, if only two out of three people feel confident of retirement, there's already a gap. And so what happens is, as we dig deeper, that highly confident, do I feel highly about, highly confident about retirement? Only 17%, that is not a big number. Yeah. And this survey, for the most part, doesn't get answered very much by young people. Young people don't answer a lot of surveys. So these are people in their 40s, 50s, and 60s. We have a huge chunk of the population that is not confident, or quite frankly, very worried yeah. about retirement. Okay, so hopefully uh, you can make people feel better, but fewer retirees are confident about uh, the ability to afford medical care, that's a big one, and the ability to afford long-term care. Yeah, once people get over, am I gonna have enough money for retirement? Because that's the number one fear, then the immediate question they start having is, well, what about medical care? What about just plain old regular health insurance, health insurance needs and deductibles and so on? And then what about the possibility of staying in a nursing home? We're all living longer than we mm. used to. Somebody used to die at age 65, we thought, oh, they lived a great life. Now it's, oh, they died so young. So because we're living longer, the probability of us spending time in a nursing home is much higher. And 44% of retirees are saying health care costs are a lot higher than expected. I mean, years ago, nobody expected health care to cost as much as it does today. Now, I remember when I started in this business, a retiree, and this was back in 1989, could have a full-blown great health insurance policy, probably only be paying two or $300 a month. Now it's two or $3,000 a month if you don't have Medicare. So it's very, very high. And, and Medicare for most people is not gonna be enough. It's not gonna be enough. Most people buy a supplement uh, and that can typically run two to $300 a month, but there's still deductibles. Yeah, so the median age for claiming Social Security, this is when other people are doing it. Retirees uh, mostly are taking at 63, that means they're just retiring. And people who are still working, the median age is 65. Right, so what we're seeing here is retirees, a lot of retirees have taken it early. A lot of people took it immediately at age 62. Now people are realizing, hey, wait a minute, I'm living longer, I better forego taking Social Security. So the median age right now is 65. I wouldn't be surprised to see that go out so that pretty soon the average age or the median age is 68, 69, maybe even 70 years old. Mm -hmm. As people are living longer. And you know, some people really still enjoy working, so don't feel bad about that too. It, uh, it can be a really great way to extend your life and give you more meaning. Well, and with the different jobs that are available now, a lot more people like working than when we had a lot of factory jobs in yeah, this country. Yeah, that's true. And so th if you want to learn a bit more about uh, how people are feeling about retirement the, in this Retirement Confidence Survey, you can get some more information. You've got it all printed out for everyone. And all you have to do is go to Better bettermoneytv.com and you can get Joel's free offer. It's a great survey. You'll want to get it. Good information for you. Alrighty. Thank you so much, Joel. Thanks, Kara. That's Better Money.